the future. Um, I totally did not film an intro this morning. I was very focused on getting ready for class, but essentially today is my first day of medical school classes. I'm super, super excited. So today I will be showing you guys how lectures are working for us and what my initial study method is going to be and kind of what my first day has looked like. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy and now go back to Julia of the past and enjoy this video. It's 8 o'clock and I just woke up. <laughs> so I feel so rested right now and so much happier views. It's peppers and onions and a little bit of cheddar cheese and these Tupperwares. Um, but I'm going to make scrambled eggs to put on top. I just really didn't want to meal prep eggs. I know people do it, but I just can't get myself to. So I'm going to heat this up in the microwave and make some scrambled eggs to put on top and have this for breakfast. So here's the finished product. It's not the most exciting looking thing, but it'll be good for breakfast. So I'm gonna eat this now. Now I'm gonna make French press because I have this um, like single cup, essentially a Keurig, but it hasn't been working really well. And I figured if I want a little more coffee than that today, so it's coffee time. just heated up some Mexican chicken and beans and peppers and stuff that I made in advance and now it's about 2 not 2 45 it's about 12 45 and I have one more lecture left that's due today and then I want to get a head start on tomorrow's lectures and then I have some EMR training I have to do so that's where we're at right now so I thought I'd kind of show how I've been studying so um, we have lectures that are pre-recorded that I've had pulled up up here and then I've had my Anki pulled up over here and I'm putting any key or emphasized points into an Anki deck. And then I have my notes pulled up right here and I've been taking notes um, on good notes, which is what I used right on top of the PDF copies of the notes. And then at the end, I made a version of Rachel Southard's Past Tracker, um, which was something, you know, I learned from watching her videos and I can definitely link the video where she talks about it down below. But um, I think it's gonna be really helpful to keep track of how much I've done. So essentially I'm ranking, after writing that I've done my first pass of these PowerPoints, I'm ranking the difficulty of the material and how much time I think I need to spend with it. So I know to go back and review it. Um, and I can be prepared for any exams. So that's kind of how I'm starting off studying. I know this is probably gonna change a lot, but um, I kind of wanted to be staying up on Anki by picking up things during the lectures and taking notes at the same time. Um, so I've been pausing a lot, it's taking me a minute to get through this stuff. So I don't know how efficient it's gonna be long-term, but we're gonna see. So I have, um, let's see. I have finished all the lectures that were planned for today, but I think I'm going to try to get through at least one biochem lecture for tomorrow. And then we actually have an Anki tutorial that's being done by our peer tutors at 3. It's 1.53, so I think I can get through at least this biochem lecture. <sighs> I'm not sure exactly how long the lecture is, but they gave us an hour and a half for it so we'll see how much I'm able to get through um so I'm trying to find the actual video so it looks like the video itself is actually an hour and a half or so long so Either I'll try to get through like half of it and do the other half after the funky thing, or um, I might move on to something else on my to-do list. We'll see. 
to-do list for the day. I've gotten through all of these lectures so far. So like I said, this Anki tutorial is coming up in about an hour. And then I have some EMR training that they suggested we start today. I want to get through another biochem lecture and I do want to review the Anki cards I've made. I think I've only made about 20 so far. I'm really trying to limit myself to the most important material so I don't end up with like hundreds and hundreds of cards that are like unattainable for each week since we're going through so many slides. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try to get at least like halfway through this lecture and then I will watch the Anki session, Anki session, whatever, um, and then come back finish the second half, switch and maybe do the EMR training, and then finish my night with reviewing the Anki cards and then be done for today, which puts me ahead by one lecture for tomorrow, which I think should be perfect. Um, it'll allow me to get started earlier in the morning and get more stuff done during the day. So the Anki tutorials over, it was helpful to kind of go over some things with Anki that I didn't really understand from before. Um, so now I feel really pretty comfortable with it after watching that and using it. So I'm gonna keep making my Anki cards for today. I have about 50 minutes left of the biochem lecture that I'm gonna watch today once I finish that. I'm just gonna do my Anki cards and call it a day, probably. Um, I feel like maybe I could keep going, but I'm really trying to set reasonable study hours for myself, so I'm not doing this stuff all the time. Um, but I'm also accomplishing enough for each day, so if I can get one lecture ahead today, I'm totally happy with that. And then tomorrow I can continue to get ahead and hopefully finish most of my lectures in time to have the latter half of the week and the weekend to review this week's stuff before I start next week. So I'm going to get back to studying. It's four o'clock. So um, hopefully I'll just be doing, you know, um, this lecture for about another hour and then I can just finish up my flashcards and be done for the day. Okay, so I've finished the biochem lecture that was supposed to be for tomorrow morning so I can get a really early start in the morning on all my other lectures. So now the rest of the day, I actually forgot I have that EMR training to do and I want to finish my Anki cards. My goal is to really stay on top of these. So for today, I know I said like my goal per lecture was like 30 to 50 cards. I ended up with like 84 cards today, which is not bad at all. So I'm actually gonna go upstairs while my sister makes dinner. And I think I'm just gonna go through the EMR training now. And then I'll do Anki last, cause I can do it actively, but also, you know, can kind of sit around and wind out my night with it. So that's the plan so far. Finished dinner and now I'm gonna finish my Anki for the day. I decided I'm gonna do my EMR stuff last because it doesn't require quite as much attention as going through my Anki decks. So I think I have like 50 some cards left. And I'm just going to sit in this chair because I've been sitting at this desk all day and I just can't anymore. So I think I'm going to just kind of hang out right here, try to get my Anki decks done, and then do that EMR training last. I actually just finished my Anki deck like way faster than I thought I was going to. Um, so I am super excited about that. I actually, one thing that I did really learn from the Anki session they had was like how to add different add-ons. So I did add some of these things that show my stats on here, which is cool. So apparently 197 cards in 49-ish minutes today. So I did pretty good. I was moving pretty fast. Um, I feel like I learned some stuff. So now the goal is to finish whatever part of the EMR training they wanted us to get done today by tonight. Then I'm done for the day and I'm gonna just hang out. So I am now done with everything for today. I did everything I wanted to plus an extra lecture. So I'm really happy with how the first day went. I think my study methods are gonna work at least for the beginning. Um, it should be easy to adjust. So now I'm exhausted. I'm gonna go have some dessert and call it a night. Um, so I'm gonna end off this vlog here and then I'm just gonna continue on into my first week of medical school classes to make sure to check back for that later this week. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon.